I'm Carl Erickson here at T1G. I just retired a couple years ago from 5th Special Forces Group. I had almost 25 years in the military, most of it in special operations. I am the host of the Maximum Warrior 4 competition. I'm also the evil mind that puts together all the events. I plan them out and make sure everything gets done, and we put on a challenge this year way better than last year. And I've got some great competitors here this year. We want the best of the best. I put the word out to all our sales guys. Hey, send me the best from each branch of service. Every one of them is coming here with it on their mind. Hey, I'm winning this. We've got two pararescue guys. You're, uh, they call them PJs. They are the special ops for the Air Force. And we've got MARSOC, Marine Special Operations guys. We've got three Green Berets coming in from the US Army. And then we've got the Navy SEAL. So I've got a great bunch of competitors here. They're going to bring a lot to the fight. What I like about the Maximum Warrior competition is we don't add little explosions after the fact. These guys are going to be shooting through most of the events live ammo at all times at actual targets. They're wearing real body armor. They have their kit set up the same way that it's going to be worn overseas in a combat situation. Paper targets? No, I've got an Afghan village up here. I'm gonna have live role players come out dressed just like that, and they're gonna be shooting, uh, it might be an AK-47, it might be some other kind of carbine. They're gonna be shooting what's called force-on-force -force training rounds. Basically what it is is a plastic bullet filled with colored soap and they hurt and they hurt a lot. Another thing I really like about Maximum Warrior competition is even the combat decorated veteran that takes last place or third place, doesn't matter. He still gets to keep all of his Black Hawk body armor, his Black Hawk clothing. He also gets to keep his FNH rifle and he gets to keep his uh, Smith & Wesson MMP pistol and with the Leopold scope on the rifle just for showing up. It's a way for us civilians now to say thank you. Thank you for your service. You know, these guys, they've been overseas. It's, they didn't just serve time in the military. They served time in the military while our country was at war. There's just so many differences that takes Maximum Warrior just so much further above all these other reality shows. This is not a reality show. This is reality.